Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Elmira College announced today it would be enacting a tuition reset. This reset will reduce the college's tuition and fees from $41,900 to $35,400, a 15% decrease. These changes will be effective next year. Now, students who are already enrolled will get some form of reimbursement. The college will still offer $14 million in scholarships and grants as well. Well, I think it addresses something that's on everyone's minds these days. I mean, the price of higher education, most would say, is out of control. And so we're trying to hit that head on by making college more affordable for students. So the tuition reset takes place fall 2019. Well, this really uh, puts our tuition in a very competitive place with other private colleges in the region. So even if you're talking sticker price, we're very affordable. And the financial aid, if students qualify, just makes it that much better. There's a strategic plan, and that's the next five years at Elmira College. And part of that is to boost enrollment to 1,200 students uh, and improve our, our retention rate of students. And it will also feature some exciting new academic programs, which I'm not going to mention to you because the strategic plan isn't out yet. But it's about providing a richer and more rewarding experience for the students. The change comes at a time when college is more costly than ever before. As for the reason behind the tuition reset, Elmira College points to a recent Pew Research study that found 60% of Americans say higher education is headed in the wrong direction. A man shot and killed in California on Friday morning has turned out to be Christopher Truax Jr., a Horseheads native. Truax was a Marine sergeant and stationed at the Marine Corps Air Station in Miramar. Sheriff's deputies spotted a car parked in the middle of the street near the Lemon Grove Square Shopping Center. Inside, they found Truax bleeding from a gunshot wound. His death has been ruled a homicide. He was married and had a one-year-old son. He was just 21 years old. The Twin Tiers apparently can't catch a break from the rain. This video was taken on South Corning Road near Steege Hill Road today, where the road was completely flooded over. Cars going down the road dead to just turn around and find a new route. In the event of flash flooding like this, remember to turn around, don't drown, and do not ignore those road closure signs. Meteorologist Kim Walker lets us know just how long this rain will be sticking around. That's next in your Big Fox Forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back, everyone. The storm system that's bringing all that rain will continue to move to the northeast. So I think the rain will be winding down tomorrow. There could be some sunshine by the afternoon. We're going to stay cloudy, though, as we head into your Wednesday. There could be an isolated thunderstorm or two in the afternoon. Temperatures will actually be a little bit warmer, and we're going to continue that warming trend through the end of the week. So that low pressure system, which is bringing remnants of Gordon northward, will continue to move to the northeast. So we're going to see a little bit drier conditions tomorrow, maybe just a few showers in the morning. And then by the afternoon, as high pressure starts to build in, we should see some peaks of sunshine. And then as we make our way toward the latter of the peak, uh, the week we are going to see chances of rain, especially by the end of the weekend. But as far as those temperatures, Temperatures are concerned. It is going to be cool tonight. Temperatures dropping down to around 60 degrees. There could be some heavy rain and also some patchy fog. And then again, that rain will be winding at down by tomorrow. Temperatures will be cool. 75 degrees for the afternoon high. We're going to start to warm up though by the middle of the week. We're looking at highs around 76 degrees for your Wednesday. More chances of rain though as we head toward the latter part of the week, but mainly in the afternoon. We're going to warm up into the 80s. Thursday, Friday into at the weekend. 
and then another cold front comes through. So it will bring the possibility of a few showers on Sunday. But overall, we're going to see dry conditions by early next week. Temperatures will also be a little bit cooler. 79 for your Sunday, dropping down to around 77 degrees on Monday with partly sunny skies. So temperatures will uh, we'll see a little bit of a warm up as we head toward the latter part of this week and as the rain chances will also be ending as well. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens with the rain, but those temperatures look really fantastic for the rest of the week, don't they? Yeah, it's in the 70s and 80s. Can't beat it. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. When Indiana professor set a new record, not in academia, but in the Guinness World Record books, University of Evansville professor Mark Valenzuela broke the record for the tallest stack of tortillas. He reached about two and a half feet. The old record was about two and a quarter. It took about two hours to achieve that record. It was uh, such a great feeling because it's been a year since the last attempt and it was a spectacular failure. <laughs> the last attempt, there were so many people there and I couldn't eat tortillas for about a year. So this, the past month I've had to like, take a look at tortillas again. So it's a, a really good feeling. And he was about 20 tortillas away last year when he tried to break that record. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.